Alright guys, here we are, the day, whatever it is of footmas, I literally lost count now. If you guys want safe, cheap and reliable FIFA 19 coins with 24-7 support and also 100% safe comfort trades, make sure you head over to MuleFactory.com and also use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself a cheeky 5% off any order you make on the site. Hello guys and welcome to this video. Here's your Derby now for you today. As you can tell by the title, we are here back again with some more footless SPCs. I don't know which ones they are yet. It's literally just gone past six. So we're going to head on to FIFA and I'll see you guys over there. Okay then, heading on to SPCs. As you'll be able to see, we have got an Isco here, 91 rated. We've got a Patrick Van Anhol and we have got a Philip Coutinho. Okay. All right, so we've got 290 plus uh, footless cards here. So obviously we're looking at the Van Hanna one first. So let's just quickly look at his card. So as you can see, his card, 93 pace, 80 dribbling, 73 shooting, 80 defending, 74 passing, 77 physical. Going on to his attributes, he's got 91 pace, 93 sprint speed. Some of the other ones that stand out, 85 slide tackle, 84 stand tackle, 81 aggression, 97 jumping, 85 stamina as well. Some very nice stats there. So yeah, he's got some very nice attributes and overall card stats. Let me just put my headphones over there. So yeah, overall a nice looking card. Right, let's go ahead and advance on a look actually at his requirements. So for him, you need at least one Crystal Palace player, two Netherlands players at least, at least one Team of the Week or Foot Champs player, a team overall rating of 83, team chemistry at least of 75, and 11 players in the squad. So, you know, 83 rated squad, not too bad, and I don't think it'd be too expensive, but probably around about 30 to 40, maybe 50,000 coins. Moving on to the next one, then, we've got that Philip Coutinho card, and if we take a look at it, as you see, it's on card, it's 83 pace, 93 dribbling, 83 shooting, 47 defending, 80 88 passing, 67 physical, 4 star weak foot, 5 star skill moves as well, high high work rates. It's actually a very nice card, I think it'd be very very good as a cam. If we look at his attributes, he's got some very nice attributes here. 82 stamina, 91 acceleration, 86 attacking positioning, 95 long shots, 93 curve, 93 dribbling, 94 ball control, not, um, sorry, 84 reactions, 94 agility, 95 balance. That is one hell of a card. I mean, especially if you can move him into cam, oh my, he has got a very very nice card and would actually fit right in my team. May have to get him. I may have to. But let's take a look at his requirements because these could be some fairly big requirements. If we see two Brazilian players at least, one player from Barcelona at least, team of the week or ultimate screen players at least two, you need an overrating team of 85, team chemistry of 85, and number of players in the squad 11. That's actually not too bad. 85, I expected it to be more than an 85 rated. I know you need two in forms, but I expected the team to be over 85. So that is actually not bad at all for that uh, uh, Coutinho card. That actually might be worth it. And I'm tempted. So looking on the very last one, that is the 91 rated footmas Isco. So his on card stats are 75 pace, 93 dribbling, 83 shooting, 63 defending, 87 passing, and 65 physical. Three star weak foot, four star skill moves. Obviously a cam, high medium work rates. And if we look at some of his outstanding attributes, you've got the likes of 87 finishing, 91 long shots, 90 curve, 91 short pass, 92 vision, 90 balance, 96 ball control, 95 uh, dribbling. 86 composure. His stamina is fairly low though, which is one of the issues that I'd see with that card. But apart from that, overall, that is once again a very nice card. So guys, you know what time it is now. I'm going to go ahead and create some squads for you guys to use for these SBC. Try and make them as cheap as possible. So, going to go do that. And I'll see you guys after. Okay, guys. So, I've gone ahead and created the concept squads for these players. So, obviously, first of all, we can go up with the Van Anhol SBC. So, if we go into it, as you'll be able to see the squad on your screen now. In goal, we have got Perrin. Right back is Carvajal. Right centre back is Fazio. Left centre back is DeVridge. Left back is in form Alfred Duncan. Left midfield, Zaha. Left cam, Viviano. Central camp is Daniela De Rossi. Right camp is Bruno Fernandes. Right wing is Luca Vazquez. And striker is Bastos. Currently, this team costs around about 40,000 coins. Not bad at all. And I think that left back card is actually a very, very nice card if you take a look at it again yourself. So, yeah, that will complete the Van Anhol SBC for you. Then moving on to the next one, which is the Isco SBC. As you can see, that's the one I'm going to go with next. So if we go into the SBC, as you can see, the team we have got is Perrin in goal. Right back is Carvajal. Right centre back is Albiol. Left centre back is Skriniar. Left back is Kolarov. Left centre mid Kadira. Centre mid Pjanic. Right centre mid Ilara Mendy. Cam is Iniesta. Left striker is Jekko. And right striker is Adoriz. So yeah, that will then complete the SBC for the 9-1 rated footmas Isco. Then moving on to the best one for the day, in my opinion, Philip Coutinho. If we go into that SBC, also just to point out, the Isco ones are at about 100k. If we go into this SBC, in goal, we've got Alisson. Right back, Sergio Roberto. Right centre back, Edison. Left centre back, Miranda. Left back, Tellez. 
Left centre mid in form, Bruno Fernandes. Central centre mid, Fernandinho. Right centre mid, uh, Arturo Vidal. Right wing is Malcolm. Striker is... Uh, Diego Sousa and left wing is Brahimi and that will then go ahead and complete the Coutinho SBC which is around about 140 to 150 thousand coins so yeah boys today are the methods i'm bringing you guys today for footmas day number whatever it is i actually don't even know what is it footmas day number 10 11 maybe maybe even further than that i actually don't know but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video like i always say let me know in the comments if you go ahead and complete any of these spcs and if you do let me know how much you spend on the spc and also if you think the player is worth it or not but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time goodbye